Hey yo guys, hello, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about some certain things and specifically we're going to be talking about how to trade for permanent foods because a lot of people are going to need some permanent foods for the next box update but not just permanent foods. We're also going to be talking about Game Pass trading in general. So in today's video, it's going to be helpful for people who don't want to spend their money on this game and this is going to be for free-to-play players only so those people that don't want to spend Robux, this is going to be the perfect video for you especially for trading. So without further ado, let's get this video started all right guys so we're gonna be doing a dark blade giveaway soon in our discord maybe around sunday time we're gonna be doing a dark blade giveaway and this is things because we reached 22,000 subscribers so this is going to be perfect for those people who don't want to spend any robux in the game don't forget to subscribe to the channel right now and join our discord because also at 30,000 subscribers we'll also we're gonna be doing a couple of permanent food giveaways so yes guys subscribe to the channel right now turn on your notifications and then join our discord down below to be notified of all the latest giveaways. So without further ado, it's time to get this video started. When it comes to trading, the first important thing to understand is the prices of fruits. And it's going to be very important to understand that the prices of permanent fruits are going to mostly vary. And price permanent fruits are almost, they almost never go for what they're valued at. A lot of people want to sell their permanent fruits and a lot of people want to profit off of their permanent fruits. Yeah. All right. So, so think of it this way. If a permanent dragon is actually going to be worth 4 leopard fruits, a lot of people are going to be asking for 5 leopard Wait. fruits. So, so yeah, um, my first tip guys for you that are going to be looking for permanent food trades is you can, you have either two options. Number one, if you if you want the best trade, you can either you have two options. So the first option is trade with your friends that have permanent that have Robux. So if you have friends that are rich and have a lot of Robux, trade with them and don't trade with random people because random people are most likely going to be charging you for more. So if you're trading with your friends, your friends are most likely. So if you have rich friends, you know who have a lot of Robux, trade with them and try to get a good offer. Number two is you could spend more time and search on Discord. So like for example, the blocks with Discord it has a trading server and you could spend more time you know trading it will probably take you to double the time or sometimes it just based on luck but it would take you more time to find a good trade so you know you could do that or you could overpay and get a trade faster but that's not really recommended it's better to spend more time to get a better deal instead of trading now for overpay so that's my number one tip um always be patient and always try to get the best deal you possibly can. But it's worth noting that almost always, everyone will be asking more than what the fruit is usually worth. So let's say for example, a permanent dragon fruit is only worth 4 leopard fruits. A lot of people will be asking 4 leopard fruits and more. So it's all up to you on how to find a permanent, or it's all up to you on how to find the best trade. But in my opinion, being patient really does help a lot. Now, the second tip that I have to give you guys in order to trade for permanent foods is don't even bother trading for permanent food first. The most important thing in block suits when it comes to trading is food storage. You need to have more than four food storage, at least five. Sorry, at least four or five food storage. Now, the way you can do this is by trading fruits for food storage as well. So, one leopard is actually worth fruit storage or permanent storage. Um, dough can sometimes be worth permanent storage as well, too, dough. And you can always find good trades for permanent storage. But in my opinion, don't bother trading for permanent fruits until you have four fruit storage. Fruit storage is very important when it comes to trading. It allows you to not get scammed. It's very, very, very important. So always, always go get permanent fruit storages first with the foods that you have. So let's say, for example, let's check my fruits right here. I have, for example, one dough fruit. Instead of using this dough fruit, Venom and Shadow, to trade for a permanent fruit, I'm going to use these fruits to trade for a permanent storage fruit. And then once I have more permanent storage fruit, I'm going to save up the fruits that I have and then trade for a good permanent fruit. Number, uh, the last tip that I'm going to be giving you guys is always farm belly and always use the Blocks Foods Gotcha. Because the Blocks Foods Gotcha is actually one of the best ways or the best lazy ways to get food. So if, for example, you're pretty lazy and you don't want to spend that much time, farm belly like once a week or twice a week, get a lot of belly, and then do the Blocks Foods Gotcha. And then like every two hours do the Blocks Foods Gotcha. And if you get the good food, keep those foods for trade. And it's going to be very, very useful. So that's one of the best things that you could do, guys, for trading. Now, Game Pass trading is all about... It's always all about um, being patient. If you're not patient, this game is going to be very hard for you. But if you're patient, you can get almost every Game Pass. You can get absolutely all the Game Passes for free. 
Like, if you're very patient, you can get all the game passes for free, but it will take you a lot of time. So be very patient when it comes to trading, guys. And at the very end of the day, you know, just be patient. And the very most important tip that I can give you, and this is actually not a tip anymore, but a suggestion. If you don't want to trade, just join giveaways. Subscribe to as many YouTubers as you can that host giveaways. Hanejima, myself, Kit Gaming, Captain Maui, all those other YouTubers that have um, giveaways. Subscribe to, their subscribe to their channels and then just wait for them to do a giveaway. Now, that's one of the best ways you could, um, that's one of the laziest, that's the laziest way, you know, to get a game pass for free. But it actually works for some people. But that's gonna be it, guys, for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And peace out, everybody.